on the small on, on loose women. So <laughs> On there too. <laughs> anyway, still to come on this show today <laughs> might be my last one. But jo Jonathan has thumped a goat. I did. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. I was just I punched the goat. Right now, yeah. Okay, well, it's hardly the same though. I don't know whether. <laughs> <laughs> <they're laughs> <they're laughs> but the goat, to be fair to me, the goat, the steak the goat bought me was cold. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> and he chewed some of it. I think I had. <laughs> It was self-defense. Well, it was in, no one said it was an instinct. This was years ago, and I was with my boy, who's 21 this week, but he was wow. about four, and uh -huh. we were in a petting zoo, and he was stroking the goats, and a bigger goat ran over and knocked him over from behind. Before I could think, I chinned it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh, I tell you what, I was kind of proud of that. <laughs> yeah. And the goat went down. The goat went down. And the other ghosts, the other ghosts were looking at me like, whoa, okay, back off. Okay. What do you need? You're the daddy goat. Can we say no goats were actually injured? Show me. You thought they were great bosoms, haven't you, though? Yeah. I mean, you worked that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
um, mm. what, where, what process, uh, stage the baby's at. And her face, just knowing that there was a human inside of me and watching my mum's face mm. look at the monitor and she was distraught, meant that I couldn't go through with it. And and uh, and because I was so far gone, it just felt like I, I found out I was pregnant, didn't get an abortion, and then bam, there I was in labour. Yeah. It just happened really quickly. No time to So 22 weeks, it, it's a surprise to anyone. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, goodness me. What was me. the rest of that pregnancy like then? It did just... I just didn't even know... it. It, I didn't have any time to process it. It flew by. I then went from this girl who just got a boyfriend and just started having a sexual relationship to opening my legs to the entire world and having a human being come out of me. <laughs> and, you know, just all the disgusting stuff, like the yeah. stitches and the vomiting. Oh, my God, it was, it was horrendous. And well, there's I'm... somebody else here with an exact same uh, experience. Horrified, 15 years ago, says Victoria, couldn't believe it, planned determination, went to the appointment room, sat in the waiting room, just got up and walked out and I kept her. Okay. Oh. I remember something. What? what? This is Vicky. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, we've met! This is the thing. Oh, gosh, of course. Of course. Yes. Back in the MTV days, uh, when you are on Jolly Shore, I interviewed you and we played I Have Never. Oh, this is With awkward, the whole isn't of, it? Yeah. No, she's now she's committed a double crime. She doesn't even remember that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> being there and being like, I can't believe they're sharing so much. Like, hello, I'm going to write this up and put it on the internet. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've continued in that vein with you. <laughs> 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 uh, so, how do you feel, Vicky? You're, like, you're very quiet lately. Yeah, you yeah. finally met Mario's sister. Yeah. For you. Yeah. It's, um, it, it's nice to meet you both. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> You were very good, because I'd completely yeah. forgotten about yeah, that. Yeah, Mario messaged me and was like, look after her. I was like, I, I don't think she needs looking after her. I think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, ask him, look, I talked to you him. You ask him questions. I talked to Harvey at the back, and he's hilarious. Right? And he's also incredibly bright. So, Harvey, what's your favourite train? Girl Express. Where does it go from? To Victoria. And what colour is it? Red. Yeah. White. Blue. White. G black with p grey and <laughs> grey and blue and and I want to finish it. Go on and quickly finish and it. And blue door. That's Good right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> but right now, I actually think of a naughty, embarrassing memory. You've got one in mind. Don't say it. Yes. <laughs> Can I take your pulse in your left hand here, okay? So say nothing out loud, but just think the fact your pulse is actually speeding is it okay? up. It's speeding up. Oh. Yeah, I'm flattered. Yeah. Uh, I should say. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you lots of questions, and you keep saying no to the questions, okay? Okay. Well, the, even if they, even if it's even yes. if it's true, and I'll try and work oh, okay. out when you're lying, okay? So keep saying <clears throat> no. Does that make sense? Yes. No. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, we got there. That was practice. That was fine. So keep saying no. Make no. Sense? Good, good. So keep saying no, no. until it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's, she's mastered it. Okay, so, did this happen recently? No. Does it involve many other people? No. One other person? No. Did it happen outdoors? No. Did it happen... No. In a... <laughs> I've not even asked a question. Uh, did it happen in the kitchen? No. Bedroom? No. Bathroom? No. It's definitely the bathroom. Okay. Just, you can answer honestly. Am I right so far? I wish you weren't. Yeah, OK, OK. <laughs> Something in the bathroom recently. As obviously I did say embarrassing. Uh, does it involve a toothbrush? Keep saying no. No. Toilet roll? No. Did you run out of toothpaste? No. Did you run out of something? No. And that smile. Did you... You can, you can stop saying no, you can put your hand down as well. Is your <sighs> memories to do with something like... Not in your house, I'm going to say someone, a close family member at Joe's house? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and you ran out of toilet roll. I don't like this. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. But you've used something else instead, haven't you? <laughs> you dirty boy. <laughs> it's the number one. It's the number yeah. one. Was that a sock? Wasn't it? Oh, my God. Yeah? <laughs> was it a sock? Yeah? Yeah, but you... You don't look so shocked. <laughs> This has been thing. going on over many decades. Well, it's true, I have got big famagustas and grains of rice nipples. Don't you think, in that, in, <laughs> in that dress, I, I, I can't... I'm a perfectly straight woman, but I just want to go... <laughs> <laughs> You're great! You have such a yeah, brilliant no, mood. But then you'd be disappointed if you... <laughs> well, well, but, but, but... Do you oh, think oh, that men actually like big nipples? I hope so, because I got them. <laughs> 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 what have you 
you've got then out of all those ones? Oh, well, they, they were a bit airy, a bit airy in the middle. And they, were, <laughs> they were like that. There's only three black hairs, and they were like that. But I went, I went to a surgeon, and he actually put it up, so they are like that now. Straight into my mouth. Yeah, I'm facing the same direction. Have you got the name of that surgeon? Could he do something? <laughs> yeah. How are you? Because I know <laughs> you had. <laughs> I want to say a very, very hurtful, serious fall, but I, I did laugh. Still, I knew you were laugh. A little you bit. Once I knew you were all right, it's well, hilarious. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. But how are you? Falling, in, falling over is so embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, so it I went is. My knees. Oh, look at those no, Show knees. the first picture. Show me on my way. This is me on my way to the Epsom Derby with Amy. Gorgeous. Look, look, looking oh, gorgeous. They're all dressed up. That makes it even worse, though, doesn't yes, it? Yes, trying to look sophisticated, best bib <laughs> and tucker, all that. I, I had had a couple of glasses of champagne. Really? Really? But I was not. I honestly, you know me. I can hold yeah. my drink. I wasn't drunk. Oh, no, on the way in, there were some lovely um, paramedics and police officers, you know, who were all there at the, the um, race course, saying, "Oh, hi! We love loose women. We love watching you." So we <laughs> chat, chat, chat to them. All the photographers are there. We had our pictures taken. In we go. Came out. Fortunately, the photographers had gone, <laughs> as far as I know, because uh -huh. I haven't seen a picture. Um, but the paramedics and the police officers were still there. So on the way out. We stopped and had another little chat. And they go, have you had a nice day? Yes. Anyway, Eamon started to walk off because we were going towards the car park. Um, but they put a, a kind of um, cordon across because they were bringing the horses mm. down. So he was stopped and he was watching the horses. So he didn't witness any of this at all. OK? <laughs> so I'm chatting to them. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Walking start backwards. backwards to demonstrate, right? So walking I start and to walk. Talking. Never good. I can't do it on here in case oh, no, do it Oh, no, don't again. do it again. Right. So I'm going like this. Yes, yes, it's lovely. Oh, well, lovely to see you. Bye. And didn't see this step, cos I'm looking at her, and going, oh, have a lovely... And I stepped while I went oh. down. How was your fall... What was your fall oh. position? Well, it's never elegant, is Let's it? Let's see it. <laughs> I definitely went down on my knees. Oh. So I think I kind of ended up like this. <laughs> I think it's just... I don't know. I think he's just something that you just had to deal with. And I just kind of... any different, I think. Yeah, you just have to let it go. You just have to let it go over your head. And as long as you know the truth and you know, like, your own family, it shouldn't really matter what anybody else says oh, at all. You're a very strong yeah, young you lady. Are. That's incredible. If she had a problem at school, she wouldn't tell me because she made oh. a mistake of telling me once. Did you go, <laughs> did you go yeah. into the plate Well, like I that? put oh, my God. foot down on that brake and turned the car around. I did this big private school and marched her in. I was like, you can have a problem with me, but with my kids. I was going mad because a young boy got a bit physical with her and I, I wasn't having any bit. It was like, you know, whether your mum's a lollipop lady or a lawyer or... It doesn't matter. You know, you shouldn't be judging anybody in the fact... And that's my biggest... Yeah. What upsets me more than anything is the fact that my kids will be forever scrutinised or be brought down because of my past mistakes, which had nothing to do with my children. And that's the cross that I have to bear for the rest of my life, and that yeah. kills me. And when you constantly get it... Whoo, and when you constantly get it through in your face, it's like, how am I supposed to move on with my life if you're going to keep bringing it up all the time? Yeah. And I bring it up into my kids' faces as well, because they're great kids. I've done an amazing job with my kids. You, you really have. have. You can, have. You can see have. that you really have as well. Because... And, and, Molly, obviously, you've, you've known life in the public eye through osmosis obviously you know because of, because of you yeah. you don't know any any different there was there was speculation a little while back <laughs> oh, i need to ask you this with 10 seconds to go <laughs> are you going on love island what's no, no. <laughs> okay. oh, if i no. do with it she will do i need a new house <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not so, no so reality tv is not something that you would do for your no i leave that i leave that to my mom no she's very she's a good smart girl